So a very good evening to one and all. Today this class is for class eight reproduction in animals, and today we will be dealing about the topic male reproductive system. So the male reproductive system. This is just an introduction for the male reproductive system. It, this class is especially for class eight. So when we are talking about male reproductive system, we must have the introduction first. We must understand that uh, what is this male reproductive system and what are its components. So male reproductive system first, we will learn about testis, epididymis, vas deferens, penis, reproductive glands. These things we have to learn today. So first one is testis. What is testis? Testis locates outside the abdominal cavity. The testis locates outside the abdominal cavity and it secretes the sperms it produces the sperms it will produce the sperms the testis will produce the sperms it will maintain the temperature suitable for the proper production of the sperms first thing. now next one is the epididymis what is epididymis epididymis will stores the mature sperms after the testis will produce the sperm the epididymis will just store the mature sperms Testis will produce the sperm. Epididymis will store the mature sperms. It is just a storehouse for the mature sperms. Next one is vas deferens. Vas deferens helps in transport sperms from epididymis to urethra. It will help in transport the sperms from the epididymis to the urethra. Why? Because urethra is a common passage for the delivering of the sperm also, as well as for the urine also in the male reproductive system. Now. So vas deferens, what it is doing? It will transport the sperms, means the mature sperms, the sperms which is mature in the epididymis will be transported by the epididymis to the urethra. Epididymis will transport the <coughs> the mature sperm to the in to the urethra by the help of vas deferens. Now, so we can say the vas deferens is the connecting link between the epididymis and the urethra. What is urethra? It is a common passage for both sperms as well as for urine for the human male reproductive system. Now, one more thing here we would like to clear. Do mention it. Please take it as a note that vas deferens is the connecting link between the epididymis and the urethra. If there is no vas deferens, the flow of mature sperms won't be there to the urethra. Because though the sperm is mature in the epididymis, though the sperm is mature in the epididymis, but it needs vas deferens to conduct, the epididymis need vas deferens to conduct the mature sperms to the urethra. That's the reason why the vas deferens transport sperms from epididymis to the urethra. Next, the penis. Penis transports sperms and urine both. So what is penis? Penis is actually a muscular organ. It is having no bones. So what does it do? It will transport the sperms into the female reproductive system as well as it will help in the passage of urine. It will help in the passage of urine. During mating, it will transport the sperms to the female reproductive system. During mating, it will transport the sperm to the female reproductive system as well as the same penis will allow the flow of the urine out of the body. Means the penis is the common passage for the sperms and the urine. Common passage for the sperm and the urine. Urethra is also common passage. But urethra, first it will transport the sperms or the urine to the penis and penis will deliver either the sperm or the urine out of the body. This is the difference. Urethra will transport it to the penis and penis will transport the sperm or the urine, whatever is required by the body at that point of time. Now, I hope it's clear till here. Now, next one is reproductive glands. So the reproductive glands are seminal vesicle, prostate gland and copus gland. Copus gland is also known as bulbourethral gland. Copus gland is also known as bulbourethral gland. Now, here the in the reproductive glands, first role is of the seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle constitute the major part of the semen. Now, if anyone is asking what is semen? What is semen actually? The semen is the cluster of sperms. The semen is the cluster of sperms along with the secretion of the seminal vesicle, prostate gland and corpus gland. It is a cluster of sperm along with the secretion of seminal vesicle, prostate gland and corpus gland. What is cluster of sperms? Means group of sperms. 
per ejaculation when the sperms will come out of the body the sperm will be consisting of at least there will be 20 to 100 million of sperms in one ejaculation of the semen per ejaculation of semen contains 20 to 100 million of sperms 20 to 100 million of sperms and these sperms also consists of the secretions those are secreted by these three glands we will come to know one by one about the gland just as an introduction now what happens here is the reproductive gland which constitutes the semen the reproductive gland which will constitute the semen will produce 20 to 100 million of sperms along with the secretions of seminal vesicles prostate gland and the corpus gland now what does the seminal vesicle secretes the seminal vesicle secretes the majority component of the semen means semen is a fluid the majority composition of the fluid will be made by the seminal vesicle now next one is the prostate gland what does the prostate gland will do the prostate gland will allow the sperm to move it will allow the motility of the sperm motility means the movement of the sperm so that the sperm could move from one place to the other place it should not be uh, means uh, stabilized or it should not be stationary at a particular place. The sperm must move from one place to the other place and that is done by the prostate gland. What does the corpus gland do? Before the ejaculation of the sperm, before the coming out of the sperm, the mucus like substance for the ease of flow of sperm, for the ease of flow of sperm from the body, the mucus like substance secreted by this corpus gland. The mucus like substance secreted by this corpus gland. And per ejaculation, a healthy human male will ejaculate 20 to 100 million of sperms along with the secretion of seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and corpus gland. And this composition is called semen. So, clearly, we cannot say semen is just a cluster of sperm. Semen is not only cluster of sperm, cluster of sperms along with the secretion of seminal vesicle, prostate gland and corpus gland is called as semen along with the secretions also. Why? Because without the secretions, the sperm cannot do any function. If out of this three gland, if any gland goes for malfunctioning, if any gland goes for non-functioning or it is function, functioning in a negative way then surely and certainly there will be no doubt about it that the sperms will not be a motile one, not be a movement one or not be a functional one. The composition of these three glands only allows the sperms to move properly, allows the sperm to fertilize the ovum properly so that the zygote could form. This is what about the male reproductive system. I hope you will like this video and Please take a note one thing whenever you are reading anything regarding this uh, male reproductive system try to see the video and match it with your text. This is just a good point of reading. This, is, this will make you a smart reader and this will make you a very much smart listener also. Why? Because the moment you will read one point and you will match it with the diagram given in your book. Let's say you are reading male reproductive system and then you read testis and then you are matching it with the diagram of your book then surely one thing is confirmed you can see where the testis is and you can see its functions also then the thing will be very much clear to you there will be no doubt about it so i hope you will like this video so please go through the video and match it with your text and do a comparative parallel study after matching the text please match it with the diagram so that the things will be very much clear to you i hope this video is clear for you thank you